Let's look at a sample problem in rectilinear motion. Okay, so here's x. The position of a particle is described by this equation. Its position as a function of time is equal to t cubed minus 6t squared minus 15t plus 40, where x will be in feet and t will be in seconds. Now we've got four different questions here. At what time does the velocity equal to zero? What is the positions and distance traveled when v equals zero? What is the acceleration when v equals zero? And what is the distance traveled from t equals four seconds to t equals six seconds? We start by writing the, the uh, velocity as a function of time. So remember the velocity is the differential of the position with respect to time. So we write dx dt equals 3t squared minus 12t minus 15. So the velocity equals 0 when this equation is true. So we've got 3t squared minus 12t minus 15 equals 0. We solve for t. And in this case, t can either be minus 1 second and or t could be equal to 5 seconds. So it has two roots, minus 1 and 5, and so we could say, at what time does the velocity equal to zero? Well, it equals zero when the, um, since we start at t equals zero, we'll say that the velocity equals zero at t equals five seconds. And I write this up here, t equals five seconds. The next question is, what is the position and distance traveled when the velocity equals zero? Well, we know that the velocity equals zero at, at five seconds. So what we're gonna do is take the equation of motion of the particle here, and plug in five seconds and find out the position at uh, where the particle is at five seconds. So I've done that here at the bottom. Um, we can say that the x at t equals five seconds is equal to five cubed minus six times five squared minus 15 times five plus 40. And that equals here 125 minus 150 minus 75 plus 40. And if you do the math here, we get that the position is minus 60 feet. So this would be uh, it's 60 feet from the origin at t equals 5 seconds. And if the, uh, the position is minus 60 feet at t equals 5 seconds, the, the other question then is, what was the position at t equals 0? So we go back up to the equation here, and we can plug in the 0, and we can see that the position equals plus 40 feet at t equals 0. So I've written that down here. Where we go here? So here we go. Um, the position at t equals zero is 40 feet. At t equals five is minus 60 feet. So you can see it, it started off here at 40 feet. It went minus to minus 60 feet at five seconds, and so the distance traveled is 100 feet. The next question was, what is the acceleration when the velocity equals zero? Now again, we know that the time here we've got this up here. When v equals zero, that's the time is equal to five seconds. So we just need to write an equation for the acceleration and plug in the acceleration as a function of time and plug in five seconds. And how how is the acceleration related to the position? Well, the acceleration is the second derivative with respect to time. So let's see, I've got this down here. Uh, so there's part C, the acceleration is the second derivative with respect to time of the position. It comes out to be 6t minus 12. And we, we want to know, evaluate the value of the acceleration uh, when the velocity equals zero, which, me, which is when the time equals five seconds. So we plug in a five there. We've got six times five equals 30 minus 12, and that's 18 feet per second squared. So let's look at part, uh, the fourth part. What is the distance traveled? from t equals four seconds to t equals six seconds. So the reason this part gets a little tricky is we'll, we'll look at the position at t equals four seconds um, and the position at t equals six seconds, but the particle changed directions at five seconds. That's when the velocity equals zero. And so what we'll see is that the particle um, went one direction and came back, did a little backtracking, and so the the total distance traveled is going to be larger than the uh, the distance, the change in distance from t equals four to t equals six. So the distance traveled is not equal to the 
change in position. We have to look at the total distance traveled. That's the question. So let's look at this in part D. Um, so first we'll write this down here. Evaluate the position at t equals 4 seconds, and that was minus 52 feet. At t equals 5 seconds, it's minus 60 feet. And t equals 6 seconds, it's minus 50 feet. So we have to look at the difference between 4 and 5 seconds, and that's 8 feet. And the difference between 5 and 6 seconds, and that's 10 feet. And so the total distance traveled is 18 feet. 18 feet. Although the, the change in position from t equals 4 seconds to t equals 6 seconds is only 2 feet, the total distance traveled is 18 feet. And that's the question that was asked. What is the total distance traveled?